Right, so what we've now done is we've turned the light over and this is all the uh, positive and negatives from uh, each cheap Chinese cob. So what we're going to do now, we're going to wire this in uh, what's called parallel. You can wire things in different ways. Uh, you can wire them in series or you can wire them in parallel. And the reason why we've chose parallel for this means that if one LED goes out, all the rest will stay on. If I do it in series, then if one goes out, all of them go out, or something along those lines. This uh, this actual uh, sheet of uh, aluminium, we've drilled holes through it to attract cooler air, so cool air passes through these holes. There'll also be a fan over the top of it, so uh, this should act as one great big heat sink. That's the plan anyway. So for now, what we intend to do is we're going to join all these browns together. We're going to join them all together and uh, then we're going to join all the blues together. But first the uh, lives. We're going to join all the lives together, solder them all together so it's wired in parallel and uh, we'll be back in about half an hour when we've done that. Right, as you can see, if you just get in a close-up of these, we've uh, soldered these wires together. And uh, this is what will happen once it's uh, wired in parallel. So uh, we're just going to try this. There's five lights under there. And then you can see, if you just go back a bit, you can see how bright that's going to be. So uh, that's what it'll actually look like. Right. Right, so what we've done is we've done, uh, we've just done one row. Uh, I've checked to make sure it's working, and now we're on the second row, and I'm just going to check to make sure that that's working. So if you stand back, and uh... Jesus, right, that should be uh, working quite brightly. Let me just. Uh... Is that all of them doing? I, I can't tell, it's too bright. Yeah, that's uh, all but one. So, oh, we've got yeah, all but one. one what's not working. So let's have a check of the one what's not working. It was this one, wasn't it? Yeah. Ooh. Right, so somehow there's a short on that. So we'll have to take that one out, I think, and uh, put another, oh there you go, it is on. Right, let me check it round here. God, I don't know how to do your eyes in that. Go back a bit. Is that them all on? Yeah, there you go. Right, that's all of them on so far, and that's bloody bright. So uh, we'll get on with the next row and we'll check back shortly after. Right, that's uh, one half of the lights uh, all soldered in and wired in. So this is uh, 3, 6, 9, 12. This is what f the light from 15 will look like. Is that all 15 on? Yeah. So that's quite bloody bright, that is. Right, so we'll be back when we do the other lot. Right, now then, we've got every light plugged up and uh, we're just going to try for the first time to see what the connection's like and to see how bright it is. If you want to go over by the door. Right, here we go. Blimey, that's bright. That's good, that, isn't it? Yeah. Right. So there we go. It's all working. It's all cool. And uh, what we need to do now, I was going to uh, wire the dimmer switch in. So I think that's what I'm going to do next. 
uh, because I don't want to push I don't want to push the uh, LEDs too hard so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wire this uh, this is uh, an 800 watt dimmer switch so uh, it's pretty straightforward uh, but with this I'll be able to like just turn the chips down a little bit so they're not being pushed too hard hopefully that'll last that'll help them last a little bit longer keep the temperature down uh, we'll just put in some seedlings underneath it initially so we don't want uh, we don't want it too too in your face we'll save that for uh, the flowering period but uh, I'll just solder this uh, dimmings, dimmer switch in and then uh, we'll put it up in the tent and see see uh, what it looks like Right, this is uh, the light, all of the LEDs are on, I've fixed the dimmer to it and uh, I'm just going to turn it up. I mean so far the LEDs look absolutely fantastic. So up the go. Oh bloody hell. So we're going to like put it, we're going to have it about there so that's a lot less but uh there we go. We can uh, we can dim it right down, but for some reason there's still some uh, voltage going through there. So I'm going to have to have a look at that. But uh, yeah, it's all fine. They're not getting uh, hot anyway. Let's have a. No, you can touch those. They're not getting too hot. But then again, they are getting hot after a, a short while. But uh, there you go. But uh, now we're going to install the light and uh, get it hung. Initially, there's only going to be uh, four seedlings under it, so we don't want it too bright. But uh, yeah, basically, it's uh, it's a lot of messing about. Uh, I wouldn't go for these LEDs because they're a real pain in the ass to. Uh, to solder we had so many problems soldering each one and there's not really a lot of solder on these uh, LEDs but uh, the colors quite bright but uh, I mean that's supposed to be a full spectrum I mean that one's not so bright as that one but on the whole, they, look, uh, they don't look too bad at all, those. I mean, I think that looks quite good. There's a little bit of flicker in there. Of course, the next LEDs, uh, they've got uh, resistors in them to stop them from flickering. So uh, that'll be the next light we build. It'll be along the same basis as this. But, uh, yeah, it's fantastic. It's a great light. It's... Uh, it's not all that hot either. I mean, I can touch them, no problems. And th and that's what that's the kind of light we'll be having it on. It's uh, it it has got a pinky tone to it, but uh, I'll I'll be making a a spectrometer test on the actual quality of the light. So uh, but so far so good. Let's uh, put it inside the tent and see what it looks like. 